I am Dave Epstein here in Framingham, Massachusetts at Garden in the Woods, part of New England Wildflower Society. We're taking a look at the lily pond and the floating gardens and wow, these are just beautiful and I'm going to introduce you to Scott LaFleur. He is the Botanic Garden Director here at Garden in the Woods and Scott, you're going to talk to us today about how you made those absolutely and why they're so important in the ecosystem absolutely these capture people's attention when they come to garden the woods all the time what they're made out of is recycled plastic you plant these with aquatic plants and they grow right through the islands their roots go directly into the water and they absorb nutrients right out of the water so if you have a polluted or a over nitrification in your water system going on where you have algae blooms and things like that. They will remove nitrogen, they will remove phosphorus or heavy metals from the waterway and actually keep your pond and lakes cleaner. The second thing that they do is there's this really important ecosystem called the riparian edge and that's where the water and the land come together. And on that special area, turtles like to sit, snakes are there, they lay, lay eggs, dragonflies hang out there. And putting these floating gardens in our lily pond, we're increasing that riparian edge. And then the third thing is, is the gardens make really great habitat for ducks. Ever since we put these things in, Every single year for four years now, a pair of mallard ducks has come, nested on the exact same island, and had little ducklings. So we have a bunch of plants here today, and we're going to plant one of these up. Tell me about some of the plants that we're using inside of this floating garden. They need to be plants that can live in a rather moist sort of aquatic environment. Uh, so what we have chosen today is we have Marshalia grandiflora, a hibiscus moschutus, which gets fantastic dinner size kind of plate flowers on there, absolutely stunning. We also have the pitcher plant, which is fantastic because it eats insects. So it's also going to kind of help keep your insect population down. And the last one we have here is a really fun one. This is a corkscrew rush, which is actually a garden origin kind of plant, but it's got a really neat design to it. And I assume all of these are hardy and we'll come back year after Absolutely, year. Absolutely, yes. All right, so I'm just going to watch you plant one of these up, maybe help a little bit. Yeah, let's plant one of these uh, okay. up. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just get some really nice compost going here on the island. We'll start with one of these big hibiscus, which will get three, four, five feet tall, right in the middle. We will add in some of these nice little pitcher plants here. Why don't you grab one of those uh, marshalias there. And uh, for the last one, why don't we just throw a couple of corkscrew rushes right on here. So there you go. It's kind of that simple. It's really kind of a beautiful looking planter, helping out the environment, habitats, keeping waterways clean. Well, Scott, this is awesome. I'm going to let you get into the pond and, <laughs> and plant this. And folks, if you have a pond at home, this is a great addition to your pond to keep it healthy. And you can go online and buy some of the materials, mm -hmm. or you can come out to Garden in the Woods and check it out. I'm going to let you get wet and uh, come back every week for all of our tips, hints, and helps here at Growing Wisdom.